to explain what just happened there, I'm doing audio description for the recording. I don't know how to do it afterwards using a video editor, so I'm hoping it doesn't interfere with the crucial tempo of the gig. <laughs> While nervously awaiting laughter, Tom loses his erection. <laughs> Alright, fuck it, I give that. <laughs> Sorry, no, no, maybe next time. I've just come back from Amsterdam. I guess one way to describe the city is that it's like you're in secret cinema, for porn. <laughs> but even if I weren't the sort of guy who would be a prostitute, as in, if I had money, I wouldn't do it there. My last big trip was Beijing, which I enjoyed, until one day I was out and about, had lunch, went to the Chinatown, and I made the mistake of needing the toilet. Now, let me tell you a few things about the Chinese toilet. You walk in, if you hear a high-pitched scream, the gents was the other door. <laughs> toilet seat, toilet roll, soap. Pick one. <laughs> to this day, I have never followed through and actually used a Chinese toilet without crying. <laughs> Speaking of crying, I'm back on online dating. <laughs> to, to be fair, it has been mixed results. Yes, on the one hand, a number of women have rejected me, which is always disheartening. But on the other hand, there are a few women who gave no reply. I guess, I guess the main thing about going for me is that I'm tall. So for my profile picture, make sure to include the height chart in my mugshot. <laughs> but I think maybe online dating just isn't for me. I'm not saying I'm old-fashioned or anything, but I still end every message with stop. <laughs> so incidentally, it's how the woman usually starts her reply. <laughs> but I knew social media was not, wouldn't leave my cup of tea when I thought the caption hashtag no filter referred to rolling joints. <laughs> I had a job interview recently. I think generally I'm good at job interviews, and I should know because I've had 28 of them. <laughs> he started by giving me some logical problems to solve, which threw me off and I gave him my best shot. Then he asked me about my previous employment, and finally he asked if I had any questions for him. And I did, but I didn't say anything, because by that point I'd already decided not to give this weirdo the job. <laughs> I enjoy work, but today the fire alarm went off. I know you're supposed to drop everything and walk out the building, but I'm not sure if that applies when I'm sitting on the toilet, halfway through a smelly cigarette. <laughs> I like to listen to music on YouTube in the office, and I'll be the first to admit my tastes are a bit weird. For a while, I was making management uneasy by constantly listening to the Soviet Union national anthem. <laughs> but it's less of an issue now that they've got me a standing desk. <laughs> and I get on well with my colleagues. Uh, in fact, one recently came out as a transgender woman. I'm really pleased for her, but I just wish she came out sooner. Then her annual pay rise will become after the 30% pay cut for becoming a woman. <laughs> so I'm at the stage now where I just want to avoid the news. In the latest on the Me Too movement, we have another footballer accused of groping a teenage boy, although he said it was ball to hand. <laughs> and I find it quite sobering that in my own lifetime there have been two serious royal car crashes, both orchestrated by Prince Philip. <laughs> but the final straw for me is when the Syrian government recently announced that they'll be accepting refugees in the event of a no-deal Brexit. <laughs> What's worse is that I think most people's main worry about Brexit is that it won't be as good when Love Island's set in Guernsey. <laughs> but the winning prize will be food. <laughs> Needless to say, I've never watched Love Island. I much prefer the book. <laughs> so it was my birthday last year. I'm only 26 and already my senses are starting to dim. I now need stronger glasses and I can barely tell different smells apart anymore. Everything just seems to smell like Nasal hair. <laughs> and speaking of hair, I don't have a bald spot yet, but if it happens, I'm going to do the noble thing and gracefully convert to Judaism. <laughs> and then there's this. I'm not saying I'm not body conscious, but when I find myself naked in my old school, usually during a bad dream, it's now, it's, it's now the teachers who are screaming. <laughs> but the main thing I've noticed about my body in the last few years, yes, I'm still on about this, is that there are these moments where I find myself very suddenly need to take a shit. And moments such as right now, ladies and gentlemen. So I quickly thank you for your time and wish you a good night.